Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Cities with John. I'm this old gamer and I am thrilled to have you along for the ride today as we are all set for episode 13 of this downtown series, aka Rebuilding from My Wife's Destruction. But before we get to that, I want to do just a few little announcements. One, we hit a very cool milestone, uh, thanks to you. We hit 100 subscribers, so thank you very much for that. Any way you can support the channel encourages me to continue on, and uh, I really appreciate the uh, love on that. Also, we hit a somewhat embarrassing milestone. We hit 1,000 hours on City Skylines. Yeah, so leave a comment let me know how many hours have you racked up on City Skylines, or any game for that matter. And last but not least, you might have noticed the format's a little different. I've been playing with it back and forth, so sorry for the mix-up. But we will have a new commercial today, and it'll be in the middle of the show. So stick around if you enjoy my commercial spots, because there's a new one, and I think you're going to like it. So without further ado, let's get the show on the road and get to building. Wow, almost forgot. I finally named my city. Finally, Sloop John Island. A little nod to the legendary Beach Boys. And, you know, I'm thinking summer. I'm thinking beaches, island, tropical, all that good stuff. And what says beaches and summertime more than the Beach Boys? Nothing. That's the answer to that. So we are rebuilding, rebuilding phase, and we're doing a lot of different things on today's episode, but it's really kind of centering around this tram park. Uh, that is what I've ch chosen to call it. This portion of it is not exactly a park, but it's just kind of a really nice walkthrough where you can cross from either side on the crosswalks or on the side that has the condos you can just kind of walk across the street and get on the tram there's going to be a couple of exits entrances uh places to catch it tram stops is the word i was looking for there um, but there's going to be some uh really neat things we can do with this and the reason i did it is because even though my traffic is at 80% right now, I believe, or close to 80%, we want to maintain that. And now that we do not have a freeway to kind of bypass all of this area, I'm already seeing a larger number of cars coming through here. So, not a big deal that the destruction of the freeway, freeway led to that, but we have to make sure that we keep that traffic uh, where it was so I'm just kind of going through and adding some additional trees and things like that what I was kind of going for look wise is I wanted this to kind of be almost like a, a tunnel of trees lots of thickness uh, and lots of vegetation around this area I made the little fenced in areas and used some mulch and dirt decals just threw some prop bushes on top of those just to kind of have a flat look but I kind of want it to look like it's well maintained and uh, has some newer fresh mulch as we are entering the summertime which makes me think I don't know if I'm going to like continue the seasonal portion of uh, this build I, I saw that last year especially it seemed like there was a lot more fall trees and fall decals like leaves on the ground whew that would be a lot of work if I did do that it would have to be just in the area I was uh, building but uh, nevertheless we're just kind of adding some decals in here some like stone looking decals and here I have a hold of a whole lot of PPG benches and we're just going to drop those in and kind of adjust them a little bit so yeah this map uh, is coming along just fine and I like the opportunity to kind of do something a little different in these areas where the freeway was. That This was an area that had the freeway kind of running right above it. And I had to do a little moving around and tweaking to get this set up the way I wanted to. But 
Anyway, we're taking that tram line out of this road as we've already done and then just going along this park and that'll keep the tram out from uh, the road which does cause some some traffic not too much but it does cause a few issues and we're using this tram line that's actually got the grass uh, bottom to it it's got the grass ground I guess you could say so it kind of looks like it blends in a little bit and I really like that look and wow the person just walks right across the tram line with the tram on its way that could have been its own YouTube video there for a second. Um, so we're just adding these little decals that are cautionary, uh, telling people don't go too much further and watch for the tram that's coming. This is a very narrow strip for the sidewalks, but uh, I think it'll I think it'll work out well. So here I'm just using Move It, and we're using the marquee portion of Move It, and just selecting all the options and just copying and pasting that entire thing. So that includes the sidewalk that goes down the middle of those palm trees and the condos, the curbs, everything all in one. And this little area here, you can probably see it's just kind of a weird looking road right now. That's because that was the remnants of episode 12's beginning. That is where episode 12 started prior to my computer being left on and then my computer being uh, taken over in a rather hostile way I might add by my wife. Uh, so what was originally going to be here was a kind of a large roundabout with uh, condominiums all around it but it didn't turn out all that great I didn't really like how that started uh, in a sense so I'm doing something a little bit different now so that road is coming off straight and then it's just going to a split where it's going to be a circle. Oh, we go here. Interesting. Anyway, it's going to be like a circle when it's done, but it's not going to be just a big roundabout. I'm kind of just doing something where it's going to go along the sides of that key there and the little lake. And that will be a nice view for some people facing out over that lake. And I kind of like the spot for this because the condominiums I'm going to be using are the module condominiums, a new asset on the workshop by Smiley's. And these are really cool. So you can just kind of plop them together. They have a fence rail and a tree line built into them. Some of you out there are going to not like that. And some of you will love it because it takes a little bit of extra detail work uh, out of your hands and it looks quite nice he did a good job with that part I will say that the toughest part of that is you have to keep these assets off the street keep them off the street we gotta get these assets off the street uh, they do take up a little bit more space because of that front yard and it would have been nice the only thing I would say it would have been kind of nice with this is if it just had like a generic sidewalk or something if I wanted to put a, I mean, technically, Sims would walk from the road to the front door, even if it was just a concrete decal. Well, that, that would have been nice uh, to do that because I do end up adding a sidewalk to several of these. And I didn't add them to all of them because, uh, you know, a lot of this you don't necessarily see super close up. So sometimes I have to save my prop count here or there or decal count or whatever the case may be. But I did put it on some of them, especially some of the ones that I used on a more elevated surface because I think it made, made more sense there. So I really do like these module condominiums and there's also several, there's several different module type buildings on the workshop. There is a uh, module factory buildings, there's module uh, these uh, condominiums, there's even module parts to buildings where you can just kind of build a, uh, a building from scratch which I messed around with when I first started with this map and now that I go back and look at some of those buildings I think eh. I make that exact sound eh. Cause I mean, I kind of like them, but eh, yeah, they don't look all that great. Uh, probably user error, as you know, I'm a non-advanced user. So you can just blame that one on me. 
I'm just kind of adding some juniper trees here that are the same trees that are built into these condos. So these tie in very, very easily. And you can see there, I made a dirt path just in between those two lines of condos. I'm not going too crazy with the paths right here. People can just walk down the sidewalks. There's really no point in putting a path behind every single building. So there is a bit of copying and pasting, but uh, for good reason, it saves me a little time. And I like to have some continuity on some of these details between the condos and things of that nature. But I do really like the way these uh, buildings look where you can kind of put them together however you want. It seems like City Skylines as a whole is going in that direction. When it comes to DLCs, uh, there is a lot of DLC that kind of works that way where the buildings tie together. It's almost insisting that you use mods to get them to look the way they're supposed to look. Maybe they should give these modders some dough. That's why you need to support your mod community. You know, anytime you can, spare a buck or two, even if it's just for a month uh, through Patreon or different things. Because, I mean, think of how much work goes into this stuff to make your life a lot more fun and make this game a lot more fun. So, support your modders. Give them a thumbs up on Steam when you enjoy what they're doing. So here's a little bit of a finished product. I also added some garages there off camera. What a great place to live, right by the beach, right by the ocean, the undeveloped beach. Let's take a commercial break and we'll be right back. This Old Gamer is paid for by contributions by viewers like you and by Brothers, sisters, rejoice like your ancestors once did. The great mountain calls and the people's minds are open for business and now recruiting new members, I mean now hiring new workers. Those who will choose to join us in the people's minds and be on our compound, I mean job site, will be rewarded not only on earth, but below it, the people's minds. I'm telling you, you've got to watch out. Got to watch out who you work for. Phew. That's a, that's a dangerous place to work. I'm telling you, you have to move your whole family there just to get a part-time job. So this is going to be the second part of the tram park, and this will actually be a real park. So the tram line goes right through over here, uh, right through next to the highway, underneath the uh, uh, overpass there. This is a large, large overpass. And when I was working on this episode, uh, you know, I kind of second guessed a little bit of that and thought, man, this is really high up. And I'm not completely sold on that but it's really the only way to keep the multifunction bridge intact because if not the road or i'm, I'm sorry i said multifunction bridge but the colorful bridge if not though if i don't if i let's say that i started slanting it down way early it's not going to be able to clear the interstate by the time it goes around the curve there. So I decided just to stay with it for now. And who knows, I might change it. I change my mind a lot. Uh, so this uh, tram park, I'm just trying to make a big circle here for people to walk the dog, get some exercise, but it's close enough to the tram line and these tram stops that we're gonna throw in a few little kiosks because there'll be a lot of people walking over here, getting some exercise that live next door. Maybe they're waiting for a certain tram to show up on this tram line. So I made it just a, a big loop so people could just walk around it. I'm planting a lot of smaller trees and smaller vegetation in general to kind of give this park a bit of a new look as if maybe it was built not too long ago since the condominiums, excuse me, definitely look real. 
uh, and they look like new condominiums, I kind of wanted to have the same idea with the park. You know, using the stone decals in the tram portion of the park, kind of give it a bit of an older look where this looks like it's brand new. Here I took a garbage bin, a blue or well, a multicolor uh, garbage bin, and just used procedure objects to make like these little artistic statue type things, some sort of like modern art that you would see in a random park in a big city. I know it's, it's, it's incredibly random, but uh, this kind of just shows you, if you get nothing else out of those, <laughs> It just kind of shows you, you can really just do anything you want with procedure objects. You could just take everything, anything you want, stretch it out, do whatever you want with it. So for example, obviously the one of the best parts of the procedure mod, uh, procedure objects mod is what you can do with staircases. So I made this little overpass. I just kind of threw it in there and I was like, well, this is going to be a steep place to have a ramp. So just using procedure objects, you take this staircase and you can just basically put it line it up with the incline and you can even use the inclines rails there so the rails that are part of the sidewalk look like that they're part of the staircase now now it does take a little bit of tweaking so this is a sped up version of getting these stairs to look right and so you do have to kind of go back and forth, back and forth, moving around, up and down, scale, not scale, move your sidewalk, move your sidewalk back, edit this node. It's a lot of work. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's too much work. Procedure objects is a, a lot of fun, but it is a lot of work. It kind of changes the way you play the game in a lot of ways, just like any other major mod, like plop the growables or things like that. Here I'm just kind of putting a little uh, community to itself and using parking lot roads and a lot of parking lots, we're just going to kind of put in some extra condos and these condos here are beautiful, but they also come in multiple, uh, multiple colors. So sometimes, sometimes you have to go back and forth on plopping them down just to make sure you've got the colors coordinated if you choose to do so. I didn't do that with Smiley's condos that we built in the first part of the show. They are multicolor, uh, but I chose to just keep them multicolor. I kind of like the way that they look in in those particular assets. So it just really depends on which ones you use, which kind of assets you use, because sometimes multicolor looks good, and sometimes you just want to have everything built to the same color, just to have a nice crisp. Uh, presentation when it comes to your your buildings so we have a large parking lot there and we built a smaller one that's just the one-sided parking lot right behind those condos and here we're just going through and these I did color coordinate uh, so they're all blue and then we have the parking lot just kind of uh, in between them in front of them behind them so it just kind of winds through there so cars that are uh, driving in there to park have to drive in between cars kind of like you'd see in like an inner city apartment complex or something like that where I used to live when I first moved to the beautiful city of Louisville excuse me for one second <clears throat> uh, when I first sorry I just had a kiwi I didn't have any Oreos though no Oreos this week I'm off the Oreos I mean, Katie really enlightened me of the dangers of double stuffed Oreo cookies. I would put a poll up that says, what are your favorite cookies? But apparently polls are about to be forbidden on YouTube. So I'm not going to mess with them today. I'm done with them. I've, I dropped the polls before you did, Google. All right. I dropped the polls already. Putting this little basketball cord in. <laughs> I get way off the rails, don't I? Putting this little basketball cord in just to have something for folks to do here. I got a tree going right through the on-ramp to the interstate, but I believe that tree is actually attached to the basketball court, so I'll have to move that. Here's a good look at those garages from earlier. 
and we're just using the trash cans we're gonna get rid of those garages we're just gonna use some of these trash cans and then we'll build a little wall around these trash cans uh, you know something that's funny is I always forget about trash and having like uh, you know with these large condos like having an area to bring your trash because there always would be in this situation and uh, it's it's one of those details that I just kind of forget about doing in some areas so we got them in here we're just gonna use our force brush just kind of fill in a few of these little gaps with uh, some royal palms lots of palms being this close to the ocean I definitely want to have a good representation of palm trees all around and we're gonna put in some little patio areas got a little grill got some tables man I am ready I'm ready for grilling season actually I grilled some ribs last weekend I recently I work in retail my store reopened I never quit working uh, they had me doing other things but it's been eventful and that's kind of the reason that this video is posting a little late I think it's been gosh two weeks two, almost two weeks since I released episode 12 so I was on a row broke the row but I'm back I'm back and rebuilding better than ever this little complex was moved over from where the new condos are uh, where the condos from the first part of the episode uh, are right now is where this uh, building complex came from I felt like it didn't really belong where it was setting but I kind of liked the setup of it and these buildings can kind of they could be multiple things this could be an office building or it could be a residential building it's set as residential and it's a ploppable rico building and it's set as residential however it does kind of look like an office in some ways but we're we're saying it's residential for this exercise i threw in some doors and we're gonna have to kind of adjust those the one consequence of using move it and putting buildings together sometimes where there's uh, crevices like an entrance like a door or a window the other building that's moved in with that building cover up those doors or windows so that's why I had to put my own doors using a prop door it's actually a mall prop door I believe so here's just kind of putting a little garden between the sidewalk and the entrance there just something to give it a little bit of character what is uh, what is this it's just like some sort of uh, car parade why are they all coming down this way park if you're gonna if you live here park here if not turn around and leave <laughs> what are they doing oh man that's funny looking <laughs> oh, that, no never mind okay so put in some extra decals I got rid of the first sidewalk I didn't feel like the the clash we had in decals these cars are going crazy the cl I'm sorry the, the clash that we had in decals didn't really make sense to me so we uh, got rid of the first decals and now we're putting in these uh, other decals and a little curb here and then we'll add a few more larger curb circles over here a few more royal palm trees the larger ones look good there there we go perfect simple uh, quick to make yet a uh, very effective little add-on makes this corner really pop to this uh, apartment complex uh, I like how this turns out all right so we're gonna move my giant radio tower from days of old actually it was like episode 6 of the series my little at t tower move it over here I'm gonna put in a large strip mall it's just gonna kind of go alongside that Boulevard now keep in mind that right behind this is the uh, oh well okay just help yourself 
I guess this person heard that the strip mall's coming and they're wanting to get a head start on the other shoppers. So they're just going to drive across the grass. We're using this Red Rock Plaza series. To just, oh, he changed his mind. He's out of here. Right through the fence. You gotta love the AI in this game. It is fantastic. That, of course, is a result of, I believe, the traffic manager mod, but it's a result that I can live with. It keeps things entertaining. Uh, this Red Rock Plaza is a King Leno asset. Multiple buildings, and you can kind of splice them and do what you want with them. Uh, almost like the module uh, condominiums. Or they come in different shapes and sizes, and you can kind of do them however you want to. This is a parking lot building. Instead of putting in the parking lot uh, road, I'm just using that parking lot building. Because in some places, I think it actually makes sense to do that. I think it looks better that way. What we're going to do is we're going to go in behind, uh, in behind the Best Buy and then connect it over here with this new strip mall using some invisible pathways. Uh, well, actually, that's the regular pathway using some underneath those decals, but that's just a regular standard concrete pathway. And we're just going to come adjust these trees to go around the pathway. So this will all kind of connect and it'll connect over to where the Best Buy is and the crate and barrel that doesn't sell barrels. So we have a large anchor store here on the side and we have several different stores. Each one of those building housing two different stores. And then we have a little spot here. Let me use this decal again. I'm just going to paint this in concrete. We have a little spot here we could put in some small, almost kiosk sized buildings. You want to put a curb network alongside here. You can see a lot of people are already congregating around this. Uh, sidewalk and connect it's connected it's a great connection because you're avoiding a huge uh, sidewalk that's has to go down to a corner and then go down uh, the side of this so uh, you're you're saving a lot of time walking on that pathway if you choose to take it so we're just using some generic business signs except for this one this isn't generic shoe carnival and for my friends in Rio this is not that kind of carnival this is shoe carnival and what a great place to shop. I always used to get to spin the wheel. It was like a, a it was like a wheel full of different deals. Uh, you know, spin the wheel, make the deal. Spin the wheel, get a deal. Uh, that is a WCW reference. Get out of the way. We have an emergency. Can't you see the lights are on? So shoe carnival. It's kind of like a large shoe store. Doesn't have like one-on-one -on -one sales people, but there there are uh, some fun things. There's like a little wheel, like I just alluded to. I'm just gonna keep talking about the wheel. It's kind of like the wheel on like Wheel of Fortune. It's got all these different good deals. I always used to land on something like free pair of socks. <laughs> uh, never got any money off. It's like, oh man, I want these Jordans. But here is some free dress shoe cleaner now uh, always got some good deals of shoe carnival back in back in the day oh enough of shoes so we have the Starbucks and a little uh, small store attached to it there the lush lush uh, I don't even know what that place is it just looks cool it looks like it belongs and I kind of just tied in these buildings to make them look like they're it was just kind of like thrown together like an old building was just sitting there and it was kind of converted into a Starbucks and another place but it's not all that great looking so we have like the you know difference in heights and the roofs and all that we're just taking the Starbucks sign just kind of sticking it on the back of here but I think that looks kind of cool it looks like it's just kind of you know something that got renovated but maybe not renovated all the way so I think that looks uh, looks pretty neat well, that about does it for episode 13. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed building it. Be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And we appreciate you coming along for each and every ride right here on Cities with John. I'm This Old Gamer. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.